I think probably what happened was the response from Donald Trump. The, the response to Donald Trump being president, he was so polarizing and he attacked people in a way that was so non-presidential and the way he would behave was so non-presidential that that's just his thing. When someone comes after him, he comes back at them even harder. Yeah. But when you're the president and you do that, it just gets everybody's panties in a wad. Yeah. And he's just fucking taking gallons of gasoline and chucking it on the fire. And so when they got rid of him and they got him out of there, they're like, we got to make sure this that never, never happens, happens again. again. Yeah. Meanwhile, it's going to happen again. It's yeah. going to happen again. He's coming back. And he, he might even win. But the, this polarization has like hardened them the thing with trump because of trump's behavior the way he communicates which i just think is a terrible way to communicate as a president but if you're his supporter you love it you're like yeah, yeah. stick it to him finally someone sticks up for us and so it's like yeah i get your feelings i understand why you would love that and i understand that he's right about many things there's a crazy video that's out there that shows all the things that donald trump predicted if Joe Biden gets in office and how all of them have taken uh, place. Have you seen that video? No. I'm gonna send it to Jamie because it's so wild. It's so wild. You watch it play out and you're like, holy shit. Yeah. Cause it's it's so crazy that um it's it's that blatant. But like you would think, like, wait a minute, is it is this is this theatrical? I mean, this is but crazy. But at a at a point you st- or a two party system with a you know, nearly 50-50 split down the middle. Um, at no point w- would I, in that presidential p- position, like your job is to try to bring as many people from each respective side yeah. together. Yeah, bring everybody together. That not his approach? No. He doesn't, <laughs> he's, that's why it's it's so not, it's not how a leader behaves. Like he was very, he's got a huge ego, and that's what's led him to this amazing amount of success that he's had. But that huge ego, once he gets into a position of power, here, play this from the beginning and give me some volume. Before I took office, there was a lot of folks out there, a lot of folks out there making some pretty bold predictions about how things would turn out. This vi- hold on, stop for a second. This video does not sound like that. It sounds fine. What's coming through uh, the computer? Why is that happening? Because I played it to get today on my phone and it sounded perfect. They're coming for your guns, they're coming for your jobs, and they're coming for your freedom. They hate American energy, and Joe Biden will shut it all down. He's going to. Uh, that if I became president. If Biden's elected, he will wipe out your energy industry. What a prediction. That is my favorite one, I must add. Is that if I got elected. Gas prices going five, six, seven dollars for a gallon. Flood your communities with criminal aliens, drugs, and crime while they live behind beautiful gated compounds. They try to take away your guns. Second Amendment, they want to take it away. While they enjoy private security that's fully armed. I never understood that one. They spent trillions of dollars rebuilding foreign nations, fighting foreign wars, and defending foreign borders. Well, those predictions of doom and gloom six months in. Here's where we stand. You want to use the word recession or depression? Think of the single mom. <laughs> so we put food on the table this month. You know, it's, uh, it's sad. So if your primary concern right now is inflation. We could stop it in 30 minutes. When I took office. He finally went outside. He went to get an ice cream. Look, the bottom line is this. I say you're not doing a very good job. Th- this was can't campaigning take any pre-election now from the press. Yeah. Wow. It was him campaigning pre-election and what is actually taking place. I mean, I mean uh, it's just uncomfortable. It's wild. And what's interesting is even CNN is starting to push back against it. Like Don Lemon was interviewing the woman who is the new uh, press secretary for the White House. Yeah. And he was asking, is Joe Biden going to be fit for 2024? And she's like, he's fine. He's great. Like, what are you talking about? And you're watching him and you're going, what the fuck are you talking about? He's yeah. definitely not. That's not true. Like, you know, that's not true. Like, you're gaslighting us. Yeah, I saw Ocasio-Cortez asked if he if she would support the president in a 2024 run. And uh, she's like, ah, you know, let's, let's talk about the issues that we're trying to fix right now. And, uh, and they're like, yeah. so would you support the president? You didn't answer me. 
That's mm. what the journalist asked her. And she's like, um, you know, we have issues right now that we need to address first. And like, and then she let her off, you know, but yeah, yeah crazy. T it's going to be, it's going to be wild.